all right so with me here are three smartphones that are powered by different chipset different processors now it has been a while that i made a uh, chipset comparison on this channel i won't abandon that it's still my thing okay so but what we have here is three smartphones they're all powered by three different chipsets and from two different companies we have the qualcomm snapdragon 732g chipset on this smartphone and then this one with me here has the mediatek helio g95 chipset and then this one on my right hand side is the uh qualcomm snapdragon 720g chipset that powers it now these three chipsets have octa-core processors so they are the top of the game but we got to see which of them is better than the other and the major differences they all have now chipsets or processors helps a smartphone to have significant features so when you see uh, chipsets that have cooler and more magnificent specifications it means the smartphones that you use it we want to tap the full potential of that chipset and that helps a lot to uh, for the users to have a good experience of using the smartphone so out of these three which of them is faster which of them is better and what are the specs they give us the additionals the Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G chipset is the highest of these three when you have uh, gig-based scores. The uh, Snapdragon 732G chipset is the highest both on multi-score and on single-core. Second is the Mediatek Helio G95. It follows the Snapdragon 732G chipset. And then thirdly is the Snapdragon 720G which is the last of it. So meaning to enable S according to Geekbench, the Snapdragon 20G chipset is the inferior one in this three. You notice that the names of this chipset they have GGG. So what does that stand for? G stands for gaming. It shows that these smartphones, these uh, chipsets, they are they are well optimized or more efficient when it comes to gaming. Basically, this three can handle any game you throw at them, be it PUBG, Call of Duty, be it FIFA or HFT car racing these three are good to go now when it comes to Antutu bench score as the benchmark the mediatek helio g95 has the highest scores yeah it beats the two snapdragon smartphones followed by the snapdragon 732 g chipset on Antutu, and then lastly again is the snapdragon 720 g chipset so the point here is that on Antutu, the mediatek helio g95 is the highest you know on game bench the Snapdragon 32 G chipset, the scores, the difference in scores with, between the uh, Mediatek G95 wasn't that far. So what's the point? It shows that Mediatek has really stepped up pretty good. So don't underrate Mediatek smartphones, Mediatek power smartphones, especially when you hear of this G series and the Dimensity series, they are good. Mediatek has stepped up his game. But one disadvantage that Mediatek smart chipset has is that now these three, when I'm playing games with them, the Mediatek Helio G95 chipset smartphone gets hotter fast. So the Snapdragon chipset still maintain the cool a lot of times. And the more I'm running benchmark on these three smartphones, over time, you notice that the scores of the G95 Mediatek chipset keeps dropping drastically, while the Snapdragon still try to maintain its cool. So what's the point here? It is true that Mediatek chipset has improved, but when it comes to heat management, it's still one of the challenge that Mediatek chipset has still facing. More features that is more fascinating with these three chipsets is that these two chipsets use the high refresh rate system. But the Snapdragon 732G chipset on these three smartphones on board here has 120 years refresh rate, while the G95 gives you 90 years refresh rate, the 720G chipset gives you 90 years refresh rate. Testing fluid, what is the name of that app? Uh, let me check now the application so yeah, you know the application fluid stimulation fluid simulation or fluid stimulation now testing it that helps you to see how smooth the refresh rate is now testing the application on these three smartphones the snapdragon 732g chipset to test refresh rate looks more smoother and the fluidity is top notch and then you can hardly notice any difference between these other two because both of them are 90 refresh rate another importance of good chipset is that it helps the camera system when it comes to camera processing system the chipset is the key factor so 
The Snapdragon chips are what I've observed from pictures I've taken with these three smartphones. The Snapdragon Soft T2 chipset processes better, better image quality. Followed by Snapdragon 720G chipset, the G95 tries but not up to the standard of the Snapdragon chipsets that we have here. And then when it comes to gaming, the Adreno 619 GPU on the Snapdragon chipset we have here is better than the Mali GPU we have on the Militech G95. Because the Mali G95 has lesser cores when compared to what the Adreno has to offer. So basically, you can see that this three chipset, Militech chipset has really improved a lot when it comes to fighting. And if I speak, it's, it's hard to really manage that the time will come Mediatek chipset to be fighting shoulder to shoulder with Snapdragon chipset. But gradually we have come to that extent where Mediatek chipset shouldn't be written off quickly. But in as much as we concerned here, the first, the best year we have on board on this table chipset is the Snapdragon 732G chipset. And Mediatek and the G95 chipset, man, is a hell of a chipset that we shouldn't order it. It's a very good chipset when compared to what we have on the desk here. So tell me what you think about this comparison of the chipset and if you find it helpful or you've discovered anything, feel free to drop in the comment section. If you also have questions, you can drop in the comment section. I will be there to get back to you on time. All right, it's my IG here. Thanks for watching. And remember to hit the subscribe button and turn the post bell. Also follow me on my social media. Um, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at my ID. I'll see you around in my next one.